Hello, my name is Joe Kaiser and I work for Old National Bank. My job at the bank is called Community Outreach Officer and I'm here today to explain what that entails and the different things that I get to do every day for my job. I have been with Old National Bank for the past 10 years and I've spent my entire career in banking, in the industry of banking. So that would be 22 years total. Um, you're probably really familiar with what a bank does, you know, the basic operations of a bank. Um, banks keep your money safe. So when you open an account at a bank, you put your money in there, the bank pays you interest. And then if you or anyone else in our community might have a need for, say, a car or a house and you need to borrow money for that, banks lend that money out. So I would imagine you're probably familiar with different roles when you walk into a bank. Um, a bank teller is typically someone who would take your money and deposit your money, give you change if you needed it, or when you withdraw your money, they would give you your cash. Um, and then there are also others at the bank who help manage the tellers and help, um, help you apply for loans, things like that. But the really interesting and cool thing about banking is that there are a lot of other jobs that are more behind the scenes, jobs you may not have ever heard of. And I'm here to tell you about one of those type of jobs. That's what I do. So I think it's important to maybe start with a bit of history in terms of banking. Um, a lot of things when they were first started in our country were not fair for everyone. And banking was one of those industries. Um, banking was one of those industries where if you had a lot of money and if you had a certain status in society, it was really easy to do bank to do business with a bank. But um, if you were more working class or um, poor, didn't have a lot of money, banks didn't necessarily want to do business with you. And there were other reasons too. Um, you know, before. Um, women's rights. Banks didn't necessarily do business with women. Um, the color of your skin was a determining factor with, uh, in terms of how you would do business with a bank. And uh, that was the past, and that was not right. But in order for that to be made right, in order for equality and equity to be brought into the banking industry and a lot of other industries, regulations came into effect. And so in the 1970s, not that long ago, in the 1970s, our government passed a law called the Community Reinvestment Act, and we abbreviate that as CRA. The Community Reinvestment Act says that if you're a bank um, taking deposits from a, from a community any, anywhere in the United States, you have to make sure that you offer your products and services to everyone in the community, regardless of the color of their skin, how much money they make, how much money they don't make. You have to be fair. And so my job is about fairness. My job is about making sure everyone that's, that's doing business at the bank is doing so with ethics and fairness in mind, not just money. And so it's a really satisfying job because you, you, it, it feels good to make sure that fairness is being upheld. Um, a typical day for me, it, well, there's no such thing. That's the really cool thing about my job. There is no such thing as a typical day for me. Every day is different. And so if you're the type of person who likes variety, um, you might be um, interested in going into community outreach. Every bank has some sort of person like me um, whose job it is, is to go out in the community, um, find out what the community needs, you know? So do we do, does our community need more access to housing for me the answer is yes and that's probably true for every city in the country but um, housing is a big need does our city need more food what does our city need to really thrive to make sure everyone has a fair shot of being happy and living a productive life banks play a big role in that you know your money is a a, a major resource like your health um, that you need to manage wisely in order to be successful. And so my job is to make sure that everyone in our community can interact with the banks so that they can be successful and live happy, productive lives. 
And so you will often find me out in the community talking to community leaders, people that work for the city, uh, people that work for the county, the state, and really just making sure that I understand what the needs of our community are so that I can go back to the bank where I work and make sure that my bosses, the people who are really in charge of things, understand what the climate in the community is like. And maybe I would offer, maybe I would mention, hey, we really need to have more housing in our city. So could we develop some type of product or service that makes it easier for people, no matter how much money they make, to um, be, become a homeowner? That's the type of work that I do. It's very satisfying. I also get to teach a lot. So just like junior achievement gets to teach financial literacy, I teach financial literacy all the time, mostly to adults, um, because it's it's interesting in our country that when we grow up in school, I, I didn't learn about money like the way you are learning about money right now. And so we've got a lot of adults that are my age and older who are not really that great at managing money. And like I mentioned before, you need to be able to manage money, a, a very popular, necessary resource. You need to be able to do that well in order to, to, to thrive as a person. And so I try to teach about budgeting and saving and credit and credit scores. And basically, I try to teach people how they can behave better with their money and manage their money better so that they can get the things that they want and need for their families. Um, what's my work setting like? Um, it's all over. It's the community. Um, I often say that I work out of my car. I do have an office, but I'm not there much. Um, the very title of my job, community outreach, means that I am out in the community most of the time. Um, what what do you need to be successful? Some, so some personality traits that have made me successful, th these are universally good traits to have. Um, be a nice person. Be a super kind person. Be inquisitive when you meet some people. Um, don't just talk about yourself. Ask what that person is up to. Ask what that person is interested in. Always be asking the other person um, about them and not about yourself. So being um, a very friendly, outgoing person it, and nice and kind and having proper manners is probably at the top of my skill list. Um, you would think bankers have to be really good at math and that does help, but I'm not very good at math. Please don't tell anyone. Um, but what I am good at is talking to people, finding out what they need, and then from inside the bank, helping the bank deliver what is needed for our community. And so when I, what I would be looking for in terms of someone to hire would be those qualities, someone who is um, kind, genuine, trustworthy, someone who does what they say they are going to do. You need to be reliable um, above all else. So if you're a, a nice, kind, gentle person who is reliable, um, you will go far no matter what career you want to get into, but especially in banking where our job is to work with so many different people every day. So. Basically, if you stick to those traits, um, you will be a success traits. Um, you will be a successful community outreach officer, but you will likely be a success in anything.